This is video number three in our induction series. First one was about pros and cons of induction versus gas, pro gas, and electric ranges. The second video is about the features you should consider, while this video will discuss the best models to consider along with their weaknesses. Let's get started with the larger 36 inch, and then we'll move to the more standard 30 inch induction ranges. Wolf's induction ranges have good output and a fully featured stovetops with one larger burner and two bridge burners. Unlike any other range, you can combine the four burners into one super burner for a larger pot of tray in case you cook pasta or lobster. Wolf's ranges include the gourmet guided cooking system. You input the food, how you want to cook, the oven tells you the correct time, temperature, and even rack position. You also have 50 pre-programmed recipes to choose from in the industry's best convection system. Wolf uses blowers instead of fans to deliver more consistent temperatures. So strengths include a guided cooking system, more powerful burners, bridge elements, and an excellent convection system. While their weaknesses could be they're the most expensive and with the longest lead times. Fisher Pickle's induction ranges have excellent stovetops with larger burners and four bridge elements. The Fisher and Paco induction range also has a warming drawer in case you cook and eat at different times. A drawer will keep food warm safely for up to three hours, and this has an industry best five year warranty. So the strengths includes a burner configuration, good oven modes with nine functions and the warming drawer. But the weaknesses include, you know, their oven is smaller, 4.9 cubic feet, and that's smaller than many 30 inch sizes. And it also has no smart functionality. Miele has the most powerful all-around induction cooktop with two burners at 3,850 watts. Miele's guided cooking system with MasterChef is simple to use. It has a thousand recipes. It will tell you time and temperature, just not the rack position. Miele is the only range with steam assist cooking functionality to bake breads or caramelize the tops of foods. So Miele's strengths is the powerful cooktop and the best oven controls. You can cook better and more creatively with Miele because of the steam functionality. However, there are no bridge elements, and it is on the small side at 4.59 cubic feet in capacity. LG is the big winner throughout the pandemic, still shipping while others have shortages. LG's induction ranges have one of the largest, 6.3 cubic feet. It's got good Wi-Fi capabilities, including a camera to see inside the range as it's cooking, and you have the fastest overall burner at 4,000 watt. So LG strikes include you know, a powerful burner, good Wi-Fi, and a large oven. Their weaknesses are in the warming drawer, and they have knob controls. You may like the look of it, though. You can buy this oven in three finishes and three accessory combos for a unique look. The ovens can be used at any temperature and have a total capacity of 6.7 cubic feet. Cafe has a good Wi-Fi experience as well with their Smart HQ app, ties to cooking apps like Huston Q, walk you through recipe step by step, and the camera inside of the oven will allow you to see the food cooking. Strengths are the double oven, style options, and it's Wi-Fi enabled with good recipe tie-ins. However, the drawback is the double oven is the main oven and sits on the floor. You'll have to stoop for that holiday turkey. Bosch may be the best looking with its industrial look and clean and European lines. You can package Bosch well with other appliances for a good look in your kitchen. From a specification standpoint, Bosch has a decent stovetop at 3,700 watts, 2,3600 watt, and a 2,200 watt burner for the benchmark slide-in series. You have a convection oven as well as a warm drawer underneath as well. Looks, package opportunities, and it's easy to clean with a slide-in. However, the weaknesses are no smart functionality and it's, the oven is on the smaller side. Beko, like LG, has been a reliable supplier throughout the pandemic. The range is pro style, so it looks like professional range. Beko has two 37 watt burners and a good convection system and a 5.7 cubic foot capacity. Their surf convection system is different with a larger fan and slat openings on the side to deliver air from the front and sides as well. Package Beko with a counter depth refrigerator, quiet dishwasher over the range microwave for around $6,000. It's style and it's got decent overall features. However, it doesn't have a warming drawer or any smart functionality. You have great smart functionality. Burners are varied with the bridge, 
burner and larger burners. It's very similar to the cafe without the color choices and accessories in a single, not double oven. You have similar functionality with their Smart HQ app, just without some of the recipe tines like Heston Q. Strengths are its mode, smart functionality, and excellent reliability. However, it doesn't have a warm drawer and only one 3700 watt burner. Oven size is average 5.3 cubic feet. First, you need to decide on several basic factors. What size do you need, whether it's 30 or 36 inch? Second, pick the style, whether it's front control, slide in, or a freestanding range. Third, look at the features. Do you want high output, a versatile stovetop, or a larger, more fully functioned oven? Lastly, you want to determine which one can be fixed quicker in your area. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. We can certainly help you with any issues you may be facing. Click the link to download a free induction buying guide. We all know someone who's been talked into buying the wrong cooking appliance. Don't let that happen to you. Over a million people.